It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Friday, the 3rd of February. I'm James Spann. Cold tonight will be below freezing tomorrow morning. Maybe a touch of light rain Sunday morning. A more significant weather system Tuesday and Tuesday night of next week. Let's dive in and talk about things as we begin a weekend here. That's the upper look, the uh, water vapor satellite view. Zonal flow. And yes, indeed, we have cleared out as expected. The sky is clear now for about the northern half of the state. Clouds linger over southeast Alabama. Those clouds exit the state fairly soon, and everybody will be clear late tonight. Temperatures are below average today. 40s for the northern third of the state, 45 in Fort Payne, Coleman, and Haleyville, Birmingham at 51. We'll be in the 20s tomorrow morning, uh, between 25 and 29 for most spots, and around the region only in the 30s this afternoon for cities like St. Louis and Louisville north of here. There's the watch warning map. Most of the issues are over the northwestern states, a variety of winter storm watches and warnings there. The east is quiet. Convective outlook for the rest of today and tonight. There's a chance of some thunder for parts of northern California and Oregon, but no severe weather expected. And the rain for the next five days, valid through Friday morning of next week, about one inch for north Alabama, one half inch for the southern counties of the state. So model fans, here we go. The GFS, this is the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. Again, it's a zonal flow and a dry air mass. The sky will be sunny. We start the day in the 20s. The high will be in the middle 50s. Clouds move in tomorrow night. And Sunday, we might see some light rain as the day begins. This is the GFS. But let's look at the high-res NAM. This is Sunday morning at 6 o'clock. And you can see the chance of some patchy light rain. Nothing heavy at all. But there might be some rain early Sunday. And then by midday, that's mainly south of here. So we'll mention that in the forecast. The sky will be mostly cloudy Sunday with a high in the upper 50s. We'll go to Monday. Again, a cloudy day. The chance of a few passing showers. The high should be in the middle 60s. Better chance of showers over the northern half of the state. And then Tuesday, a deep surface low at Chicago. And if this verifies a big snow, maybe a blizzard for parts of Minnesota and northern Wisconsin, upper Michigan, Trailing cold front down to the Arklatex, and uh, those showers and storms will slip in here Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday night. This is Tuesday night at midnight. Now, the surface low is pretty far north of here. Very deep surface low at Detroit. And that might bring some strong storms, but it's just too early to identify if we'll have any severe weather. We've seen different looks. Uh, I'd say with this, more than likely, it's going to be a squall line, maybe gusty winds. Uh, the tornado threat, not especially high. The instability will be pretty marginal, but it's just something to watch, and we'll have a much better idea of what happens here by uh, Sunday and Monday, of course. But certainly a good chance of rain and storms Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night. Wednesday, we get into colder and drier air. Uh, we might stay in the 40s much of the day with a pretty good north wind. And then Thursday, we're cold. The high will be in the middle 40s. The latest GFS showing a high of 45. And again, the GFS wants to bring a little clipper-type system through here with a chance of light snow for Memphis and Muscle Shoals, but the European is, is not showing that. And we'll discount that, and we'll leave it just cold and dry. And a week from today, Friday the 10th, troughing on the Atlantic coast, and we are cold and dry. We should start the day in the 20s. The high will be in the upper 40s if this verifies. We'll check the end of the forecast period, Monday the 13th of February. Again, uh, Zonal flow, cool, dry air. Nothing overly exciting. And the numbers, you can see uh, how we warm up a bit early next week, but then we turn noticeably colder toward the end of next week. And after that, temperatures look pretty close to where they should be for this time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. Uh, my next video will be here Monday morning at 7 o'clock. Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders, will have the videos tomorrow and Sunday. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or on TV, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless.